Hello viewers, welcome back. It's 2023 and I have a lot of exciting projects for you this year. In this video, I will show you how to use this tiny cheap ESP8266 board as a PLC. Program it with Open PLC, link it to factory I.O. via Modbus TCP and build a cool path counting machine to test this lovely protocol. Let's get started. Before we do, kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you always be notified whenever I upload new video. Kindly give me a thumbs up if you are really enjoying this tutorial series. Okay, so now let's look at some of the items we will need for this particular project. First, we will need an ESP board. My own, I'm using ESP8266 DI Mini and then two, we will need open PLC editor software. We will also need a Modbus master simulator to test the Modbus within the ESP. And then finally, we will need a factory IO software. The links to videos that will aid you acquire all these parts is provided below this video. Have a look at them and you'll be able to get all these parts. Okay, so first let's have a look at the machine that we will be trying to program. Okay, so great. So we have this uh, conveyor project. If you follow my previous tutorial, this is a simple conveyor project. We need to add a few parts and it will become a simple part counting machine. So we need a sensor to detect the material passing and then we will add a reset button and then also a counter display that will display the number of material passing on the belt. Okay, so first let's add the electroreflective sensor quickly so i pick the sensor but then i need to add a corner block so i pick it a mounting block position it So the sensor is positioned, I need to add my reset button. And we need to add a display to show us our count value. So we've added all our parts, our reset button, our display, and then the retro reflective sensor to detect the material that is passing on the conveyor belt. So with the machine setup, let's look at shortly how the machine is going to work. So we have a conveyor here that is going to start with by a motor. So when we press start, the conveyor is supposed to run and then move an object from this particular point towards the sensor. When it crosses the sensor, the sensor is the system needs to count the material that has passed. And then we should see the count displaying on the screen. And then when we press stop, the conveyor stop and all the process stops. So after stopping, if we want to reset the count value, and we can press reset and then the count value is supposed to reset back to zero. So with this understanding, let's move to open PLC editor and then write our program. So with the editor open, we'll create our project. So we go to new. And then remember we need to create a folder first. So I create a new folder. And I say ESP 8266 Modbus project. I select the so the project name the same as the folder. Program still program and then language we'll choose ladder and then click OK. Great. So we have our projects open. Now let's create the logic, but first we need variables that we'll be using within our logic. So remember, I click on this. Our first variable that we need is our start push button. So we have start, class is going to be lo local, and then type is going to be boolean, and then location. 
remember this is our stat is supposed to be an input but because we'll be using the mod bus we can only write to the mod bus call so we are supposed to assign an output here because we'll be talking to it through mod bus so i'll go percent x 0, 0 then i'll add in the next variable add in the next variable that is going to be a reset now we need the sensor that will sense the object passing that is going to be our pulse that's called sensor and then we have our conveyor belt so it's bc01 we need a variable where we'll be storing the count value so this is a count underscore val and then remember it's supposed to be an integer so we change the data type to int okay so it's going to be an integer and then we need to write into the holding register for the mod bus which is also going to be an output so we have percent and then this time is going to be w so we'll be writing into w0 okay great so we have all our variables here the next thing we need to do is to write our logic so we open the standard first we need a latch when we start we need to hold the conveyor on running so let me insert real also say eight real we need another real on the right side it slots right so we need a start stop the stop is supposed to be normally close we need our conveyor coil we need our counter block We need the sensor input to activate the counter. We need a reset to reset the counter. We can also cause automatic reset when the counter reaches the maximum counting value. So I'll add one variable that is going to be a count out. It's going to be an antenna or something, so there's no address for it. So I'll connect the sensor. I'll connect the start. Connect the stop. I'll connect the output of the set reset. And then I can connect it to the rail. Reset to the reset of the counter. And then the alternative reset bring an output coil again and this is going to be the output of the counter and now we need to give the preset count value for the counter so I go to variable and then I create a preset count value it should count to maximum of 100 okay great so with this one done I can now compile and then test the program okay so the compilation is done I can put on the goggles to monitor so we can see the count output is zero okay so we can see that when the sensor goes high the count value increases and then when I press the reset the count value resets to zero and then when I click on the start the conveyor also starts as well 
okay great so we can go offline and then we do a bit of modification add a control here so that when this conveyor is running it's only when the counter counts and then also we need to add the output that will be writing into the output register okay great so i stop the simulator go offline and then add these changes so i add a, a variable here delete this I'll copy this and then change it's supposed to come from the conveyor output and then i need to add the variable so that is the count out and it's supposed to be an output so i have to change to output and then click ok okay great so now with this we know our system is working correctly we can then plug in our ESP and then click on this Arduino icon to download into the ESP okay great so all this setup is active so we can see that the board selected is the D1 mini and then the COM port, I explained how to identify this in the previous tutorial and also this Wi-Fi setup for the ESP for, to enable the Modbus TCP also explained in the previous tutorial so you can watch it and then have a look at how it is done okay so with all this done you click on download great so download is completed so we have the download done we can click on cancel and then the next step is to go to to test whether the esp is able to connect to our network okay so to do that we can go to the command prompt say ping you need to provide the esp's ip okay great so we can see from the result that it's connected and it's active okay we can also test the modbus capability using the master modbus software to confirm if everything is okay So setting is already set in the previous tutorial so we can see it have provided the IP address for it okay so I click on new to create and then I say connect to connect great so if we look at the calls the output which is going to the conveyor is supposed to be dot three zero one two three this is our stats button so if I double click on this and then I go to active perfectly we can see that our system has started go to off for the start button it goes off because the stop is not active so if I activate the stop constantly and then I now go to start We can see that the output is on and then let's see if i go off on the stop if i go off on the start whether the stop will, this output will hold perfectly it's working fine and then we can see the output going off perfect so with this software we've been able to confirm that the mod bus also working perfectly we will now go to factory IO and configure to connect to factory I. Okay, great. So we are in factory IO. So to connect or to configure the drivers, we go to file, and then we go to drivers, and then we need to select the type of drivers that we are using. We are using the Modbus TCP IP. So we select. Now remember in the previous one 
tutorial when we were connecting to the Windows runtime, the factory I.O. was set as server, but in this application, factory I.O. will be served as a client because our ESP is actually the server. So I, I choose client and then I go to configuration to configure. So I say it should connect automatically. And then I need to specify the ESP IP address. Okay, the port is still the same. The ID is one. You leave it as such. Now read. The data you need to change this to quell. And then for the read register, for some reason, you need to also change it to holding register. Now the data input and output that we use is well all lower than 8 bits so I'll choose 8 and then the input register will leave it as such okay great so with this configuration done I can click on this to go back and then we can see that it has connected to our ESP you can see this symbol now we need to connect our items to the driver block so our start push button was zero so I place it at zero our stop was one so I place it at one okay so re the reset button was on two so I place it at two and then our sensor was on three place it at three and then we have our conveyor which is the conveyor motor was on output four and then we have our display that was on the holding register zero so I place it there and then I think we are done so we have a start we have our stop we have our reset we have our sensor we have our output which is the conveyor and then our display great so I go back to this section of factory IO and then I need to right click on this go to configuration and remember we need to display an integer so I have to choose integer as our display method that is done I can click on this and then save okay so we can see the ESP LED on indicating that the sensor is activated because the LED is connected to pin 3 which is tied to the sensor in factory IO okay the sensor is play the system starts and then when I click on the start button the conveyor starts and we can see that whenever the item leaves passes the sensor the LED on the ESP goes off and then come back on again and we can see the count increasing system the system stops and then I can reset the counter and then start again 